Welcome. This is something that we have been looking forward to for a long time, being able to celebrate baptisms together. Watching these individuals be baptized, we become witnesses of the good work that God is doing in their lives. Our church sees in the Bible the close connection between belief and baptism. We read in the book of Acts, as the early church was formed, people heard the good news about Jesus, that he had come to be their savior. They accepted that message. They believed and were baptized. Jesus' disciples were doing what Jesus had commissioned them to do, going and making more disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Every one of those who are being baptized this afternoon have done the same. They have heard about Jesus, they have believed the message and put their trust in him. Jesus has forgiven them of their sins. He has given them a new direction, a renewed life for the present and hope for eternity. We baptize these people today with thanksgiving to God and with joy as they identify themselves with Christians everywhere. Going under the water is a symbol of their death to an old way of life and then rising up out of the water is a symbol of new life in Christ. And so the action that we get to observe is like a short drama, telling us of the change that God has made already in the lives of each one of these people who have come to believe in Jesus. And we're so glad that all of you have come, that there are family members and church folks that are here. We want you to just be sort of a relaxed time together in the outdoors. And when we are doing the baptisms, if where you're seated, you can't see, and there's a family member or a friend who's being baptized, just stand up. It's not that formal. Stand up and move somewhere where you can see. And if you find you're sitting in the sun and it's way too hot, you can find another place that's in the shade. There's a little more room up in the front or over on this side. We want you to be comfortable and to be able to enjoy uh, what God is doing and to be able to celebrate this in this, that in this beautiful space. So this time I'm going to lead us in a prayer, and then we'll have a little bit of time with singing. So let's pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for the good work that you do, uh, that you have uh, come into this world to be our Savior, that Jesus has offered his life so that we can have new life, we can have forgiveness of sins, we can become a part of your family. And tonight we celebrate what you have done in the lives of each of these individuals who are stepping forward and being baptized. We pray that you would bless each person who's present here this afternoon, who is witnessing uh, and seeing and hearing what uh, we're doing here with these individuals who are following you in baptism. I pray that you would bless each one, that you would speak to our hearts and encourage us as we spend this special time together this afternoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We hope that um, you will join us as we sing. If you don't have a lyric sheet, there might still be a couple kicking around, and you can wave at Christine. Are there a couple more? Where's Christine? No, oh, there's no more. If you don't have a lyric sheet, ask a neighbor if you can borrow one or share. Um, we have selected these songs because they contain truths of commitment and surrender. And we hope that um, the words of these songs will just resonate with the people, um, those of you who are being baptized today, as you um, take this next step to publicly declare your faith and um, your commitment to following Jesus. So we will start with Take My Life, which is on the front of your page. The page is double-sided, so we'll start with Take My Life. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of Thy love, at the impulse of Thy love. 
Now we're going to get organized for some of the first baptisms, and we're going to have Cameron Richardson and Shannon Witt come on up to the front and kind of stand behind each of these microphones. And you can come with the person or the people who are going to read a passage of scripture for you. And so, Shannon, I think your kids are going to come maybe and read a passage of scripture. I get my eye on Shannon. Yep, so they can come on up. And Cameron, oh, here you are over here. You can come on up as well with whoever is going to read a passage of scripture for you. And Pastor Renee, who's going to be doing baptisms where are you come on up into the shade as well you just go over to so what we're going to try to do tonight is uh, have each one of the individuals individuals who's going to be baptized we're going to invite them if they could just share, share a little summary of how they've come to this place today what has brought them to be baptized if i uh, haven't maybe got around to all of them and so if not everyone is comfortable i'll either ask the other pastor who's doing the baptism to give a little summary or i'll throw a little summary because a lot of us heard their stories this morning we had them pre-recorded on video and you can check that out on our on our youtube channel as a church if you would like to hear them again but i thought not everybody was there this morning so it'd just be nice to hear a little summary again and then after the individual has shared a little bit of the story of what's led them here to be baptized, 
we'll have the individuals who's going to read the Bible passage that they selected to read that for them. And we'll do that for both Cameron and Shannon and then Pastor Renee. If there's anything else you want to say, but then it will be time to go out into the water with Pastor Renee for the baptism to take place. So Cameron, would you be open to share a little bit of how you've come to this place again to uh, to be baptized? You got something there you can share? Yeah? Okay, just turn that up. My name is Cameron Richardson, and I'm 12 years old. I grew up in a Christian home, and we went to church every week, so I heard about Jesus a lot. Then three years ago at BBS, Mike Gilmore asked a group of kids if they wanted to become Christian. I was among the ones that said yes. We sat down in a circle and prayed to become Christian. After that, I wanted to be baptized, but I was too shy, and I didn't want to talk in front of so many people. After that, I forgot about baptism until this year. I went to the Camp Crawford Day Camp here at this church, and the speaker, Wes, talked about his baptism. And when I heard him talking, he gave me the word to get baptized. I want to be baptized to show everyone that I believe in Jesus, and I want to follow him. Cameron's here with his parents. I think uh, your mom's going to read the passage. So Cameron has chosen uh, Romans 8 verses 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you so much. And Shannon, could you give us a little kind of insight again into how you've come to this place to be baptized? Kids, Aiden and Cohen, you guys going to read a little bit of something? One of you or both of you? Yeah. Thanks a lot for helping out. That's excellent. Now, I didn't tell you to bring your towels, but if, you're, if you brought a towel with you, you can get it. Some of our deacons are going to go down to the shore with you, and you can leave your towel with one of our deacons. So those couple deacons, that I think, Christine, you had a couple are going to help us out. You can go down to the beach as well. And the next group that we have come up, you can bring your towel the next time, but let's keep that. I'll try to remember to remind you. And Pastor Renee will go down to the water's edge, and we're going to be taking both of Shannon and... Cameron are going to go out with Pastor Renee, and she's going to conduct their baptism out in the water. She'll be asking them a question before she baptizes them. She'll say, just ask one more time, have you decided to put your faith and trust in Jesus, and is it your desire to live for him the rest of your life? And we may be able to hear if we listen closely, they'll say yes, or I do. And then this year, we've decided to come back to shore, and then the pastor, Pastor Renee, will be praying for them here at one of these microphones so we can appreciate what's being said, because sometimes the wind carries it away.
thank you for his love for you. I thank you for his desire to serve you and to live for you. And I just pray that you have blessed him with desire, with energy, with strength. Thank you for his courage that he showed today. And I pray that that courage will just come out of him as he shares his faith story with those that he meets along his life journey. We thank you so much for him, his love for you, and I just pray a special blessing on his life today. In your name I pray. Amen. God, I thank you so much for Shannon. I thank you that she is desiring to surrender her whole life to you, not just part, but her whole life. And so I pray that you would bless her today, that you would come alongside of her as she learns what it means to surrender, to obey, to diligently follow you. And as she leads the boys, Cohen and Amy as well, Lord, I just pray that you would bless her and her family, that you would remind her of your deep love for her, and that you're walking with her every step of the way. We love you, Lord, and we pray all these things in your name. Amen. Now we'll have Linda Lambert and Alicia come on up. All right. Some of you may not know Linda Lambert. She's been a part of our church now for over a year, maybe more than that. But she comes, uh, she's a credential minister with the, the In Christ Church, the Brethren in Christ Church in the United States, and now it's here in Canada. And so it's just a privilege to have her as a part of our congregation. And Linda, I wonder before Alicia starts, can you just share a little of the connection and then how you know these people? And Connie, are you going to read scripture? Connie's, Connie's Alicia's mom. So you're going to get the whole story. And then Linda is going to conduct the baptism. So Linda made a little introduction. Alicia, if you can tell us a little bit, how is it that you got to this place? Connie's going to read the scripture. We're going to enjoy the baptism. And then Linda's going to pray for you back up here. This is a very special day for me. I have known Alicia since she was a baby. And uh, my kids grew up with her. Connie and I are, are friends from uh, way back. We attended Niagara Christian College together as teenagers, and then we went to nursing school together, and we raised our kids together. So um, that's my connection with this family. And I just love Alicia a bit, and I'm uh, just so delighted that uh, she is making this step in her faith journey today. Uh, I'm Alicia. I grew up in a Christian family, going to church and youth group my whole life. I always felt like I was lost and I didn't fit in. I had turned, I had turned to addiction and struggled a lot. My loss of my daughter and my father put me down a road I didn't want to go down. I started having panic attacks and surprised myself by reaching for my devotional and my Bible. Sorry, I'm shaking. Um, Hearing I was dying, I felt like Jesus had spoke to me, and since that moment, my faith has had me hooked. I felt Jesus come holding his, out his right hand, talking directly to my heart, and the love and faith poured in like a waterfall. My mom bought me my first devotional, and it had started my mother-daughter relationship that blows me away to this day. Finally, I understood what I saw as a child through friends and family growing up in church. You know what that was? That was a close bond with Jesus. Today symbolizes for me the washing away of past sins, a sad, lonely life, and rising up to a beautiful new relationship with God. The symbol of Jesus reaching out his hand and Alicia clutching it has become life giving The verse that Jesus chose is. Chapter 41, verse 10. For I am the Lord your God, who takes 
and be gracious to you. May his face turn towards you and give you peace. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for Alicia and for the step of faith that she's taking today. And Father, I just pray that you would guard her and protect her, strengthen her, I pray, that as she moves forward in her faith, that she will know that you are walking there right beside her, and that you will be her friend forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The last three candidates is Fred. Be Fred, you can come on up over beside me, and then uh, Jeff and Sharon B. You guys can come up next to us, and Pastor Pat. Because we got three microphones, you mind going down to the, one of these as well? We'll get everybody on up here. Yeah, and the people who are reading scripture, yes, as well. So I'm going to help out over here. We got Lori over there. Again, maybe we'll uh, start over here with Fred in just a minute and have him share a little bit of how it is that he's come to this place and wants to be baptized. And then we'll do the same with uh, Jeff and Sharon. And then I'm going to be reading scripture for Fred and Lori McKnight, a neighbor. I'm going to read scripture for. We got two neighbors here. I'm, Je- I'm Fred's neighbor and Lori's their neighbor. So that's good. Okay, Fred, can you uh, share with us a little bit of your story as well? First of all, I want to have a special welcome for my daughter, husband Joe, and her children. Thank you very much for coming. It's a lot easier talking to strangers. <laughs> they, uh, I mentioned this morning that at my first baptism, um, I didn't speak, mainly because I wasn't able to. It was 10 days. And I was just thinking about that later on. And I thought, you know what? That 10 days, even though you're born with a sinful nature, I thought that was pretty good at the time. Uh, the only sin that I could remember was filling up my diaper. And that was only because they kept feeding me. So I don't take credit for that 100%. In the church that I grew up, they had a catechism. And... The first question and answer in that catechism was, what is your only comfort? What is your only comfort in life and death? And the answer is, the only comfort in life and death is that I'm not my own, but belong both body and soul to my faithful Savior, Jesus Christ. I mentioned at the first baptism, I was safely in my father's arms, and his father was the preacher. Today, with this baptism, I know I'm safely in the arms of Christ and his father. Fred asked me to share a passage of scripture, and he he, as a young child, was a man of few words. He chose a verse from the Bible of few words, and so I was able to memorize it from Psalm 46, verse 10. The verse said, Be still and know that I am God. And Fred said, This baptism is not about him, it's about God. And so be still and know that I am God. Psalm 4610. I don't know, Jeff or Sharon, which one of you would like to tell a little of how you come to this place? Good afternoon. I'm not really prepared for this. I wasn't ready ready for this. So it started in the summer of 1975. No, I'm not going to go that far back. <laughs> um, it actually was the summer of 75. I was in a, um, a boys group, Christian group, uh, Jamboree, where... I gave my life to Christ, so it's been a, while, a very long time that I've been trying to follow in his footsteps. 
most of the time he carries me, so I don't really walk that much. I'm, you know, pretty good that way. Um, but I came to, the, to this time where I want to stop walking with the world and being judged by God. It's time to stand with God and be judged by the world. That's where I am today. Thanks. No thought of the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgment. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Fred. Thank you for his story. Thank you for how you've led in his life. Lord, thank you for particularly the last year of his drawing so close to you and his desire to follow you all of his life. We pray your blessings upon him and upon his family. I pray, Lord, your blessings in his walk with you. And Lord, as he used his life to serve your purposes. We pray your blessings on him in Jesus' name. And we all say, Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for our stream, uh, our streaming ministry that has meant so much for these guys to be able to be a part of our church. I pray, Lord... I just pray that you will bless the boys in the days ahead. We thank you for Jeff and Sharon. They love you. They want to follow you. They love our church. 
Lord, we pray your blessings upon them as they serve. And, and Lord, they have been through some tough times this year, and yet their eyes are fixed on you. And, Lord, I thank you for that. And I pray that many will come to know Jesus because of their lives and testimonies. In Christ's name we pray. And all together we say? What a wonderful opportunity it is to get together like this. And uh, Cameron, I don't know if you know it or not, but Brother Wes, who came from day, that did the day camp at Conqua, he and his wife are here today because they wanted to see you get baptized. Isn't that cool? And so uh, what a great day of family and friends and church family together. Thank you for being here today. Let's just sing one final song of celebration and praise to the God who saves our soul. been two years. It's been two years since we've been able to be here and do this today. This is the first baptisms of 2021. And so we really praise the Lord that we can be together, that we can celebrate this, 
and uh, to our six uh, to our six brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless you. We're so proud of you, and thank you for letting us be a part of this journey and walk with you. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for beautiful water. Thank you for a breeze. Thank you for shade. Thank you for just letting us be here today to celebrate. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of baptism. Thank you for the mandate, the commandment, for us to preach the gospel, baptizing those who come to know Christ. Lord, we love you. I pray that you will smile upon us. I pray that we'll continue to see even more and more folks come to this place and journey in their life. And Lord, thank you for letting us be a part of it. What a great privilege to be a part of your kingdom work. In Jesus' name, and for the last time, all together we say... Amen. Go in peace and grace. Thank you for being with us today. God bless.